Boys and girls, as you know, every good story has heroes and villains. Batman and the Joker, Shrek and Prince Charming, Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. Now, these two had a big fight in episode 5 where Darth Vader tried to kill Luke and it turned out that Darth Vader was Luke's father. Ah! But wait, that's a bit like what happens in 1 Samuel 14. Jonathan is the hero who saves the day and the villain is his father, King Saul. And he tries to kill Jonathan. What is going on? Here's what happened. The Philistines invaded the land and the Israelites were powerless to stop them. King Saul and his men were filled with fear and they hid. Now the problem was the Philistines had more men, better equipment and they had the high ground. Saul and his men were hiding not knowing what to do. But Jonathan had faith in God. He was full of faith, not fear. He said to his armour bearer, let's go and attack those Philistines. After all, nothing can stop the Lord from saving, whether by many or by few. And that is true. God only needed one man, Jesus, to save us all from our sins. Only one man. And what he did was die on the cross, and by his death he took away all our sins. Only one man. And he is the saviour of the whole world. Now Jonathan was not foolish. He looked for a sign from God. He said to his armour bearer, here's what we'll do. If we show ourselves to the Philistines and they say to us, climb up here, that will be our sign that the Lord has given them into our hands. So Jonathan and his armour bearer came out of hiding and approached the Philistine outpost. Look, said the Philistines, the Hebrews are crawling out of the holes they were hiding in. Come up here to us and we'll teach you a lesson. And that was the sign Jonathan was looking for. Jonathan knew that God had given the enemy into his hands. So he climbed up with his armour bearer behind him and in a small space they killed 20 men. And suddenly the ground started to shake like an earthquake. The Philistines panicked. They were thrown into confusion. They started fighting against each other. It was total chaos. Chaos sent by God. King Saul and his men heard the noise of all the panic in the Philistine army. He called out his men and they chased the Philistines. But King Saul had made a big mistake. He had ordered his men not to eat any food until they had defeated all of the Philistines that day. So they were all weak and hungry. Jonathan hadn't heard this order since he had been away fighting the Philistines. So when he was hungry and he found some honey, he just went ahead and ate it. Now, when King Saul found out about this, he was so angry that he wanted to kill Jonathan. But Saul's army rescued Jonathan after all, he was the one who had saved Israel by his bravery. They said to King Saul, He is the one who saved us with God's help. And they were right. Jonathan saved them with God's help. It's as Jonathan said, Nothing can stop the Lord from saving. If we will put our faith and trust in Jesus to save us, then absolutely nothing can stop the Lord from saving us. Paul writes in Romans 8.31, If God is for us, who can be against us? And Jesus said in John 10 verse 27, My sheep listen to my voice, I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. Nothing can stop the Lord from saving everyone who trusts in him.